Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here, and today I'm just doing a basic overview of the new update for my Skype tool. Um, so yeah, I've, I've made quite a few changes again, like the previous update, maybe slightly even more actually. Um, but before this video starts, I just want to say if you have the tool, um, you just open it now, everything's automatic, and it will download the new version for you. And if you don't own it, you can come onto this website at mrmerk.ga, and you can actually buy it off here. It's all automatic, so you just press buy now, it'll take you to PayPal, you check out and it will automatically download in your browser once you've checked out of PayPal. And then you have it, so I just thought I'd show you this website, I've updated it a little, um, but the main reason I'm on is to check the change log to show you what's been changed. So from here, 1.0.0.8, all of this is new, um, I'll leave a link to this page if you want to go through it yourself. I'm not going to be going through everything in this video, but basically the, ba the main new features and showing you how they work. Uh, some people have been confused since I released this, so I thought I'd just give an overview of it. So yeah, let's just open the tool up. Uh, we're on the new page here, so uh, all of this page is new. You probably won't recognize it at all, and most of the things on this page no other tool has yet, so it's pretty much this tool only that has this uh, new cool stuff. Uh, so what this is, is the mood images. If you don't know what this is, I'll give you a, a show now what, what it is. Uh, so we've got a couple preset ones here that you can just click. So we've got padlocks, you know, like your mood is actually like an image. So we can use this over. We can, we've got these nice little login logos. This is probably one of my favorite actually. Stars, hearts, smiley faces. Settings cogs, Skype logo, that's another favourite of mine. Um, but yeah, that's just a couple images that I selected. Now there's actually, I put in here the ability to find your own. Um, as far as I'm aware, I've found between 20 to 24,000 and 40,000 to 40,800. I put them there to let you like cycle through them which ones you like. Um, but there might even be more at different numbers which I haven't even found yet. So. You can search through these and you, you might even find your own new cool stuff. Uh, I've limited it to seven characters in this box because you need two speech marks for apps. So the highest number you can go to is nine, 99,000. Um, I believe there isn't any over 100,000. That's why I limited it to this. Uh, so basically find your own. You'll type a number in. You could any number, um, but I'll just go between 20 to 24. I'll just pick 23. 645 for example and I'll press set mood and as you can see that is a little black warning image um, if I was to increase this number by one and set it it's an orange one it's like these numbers are unlimited between these so there's an image for like each one so there's a lot of images so basically the reason for this is I let you find your own because you can copy this number like if you find a cool one you can copy it uh, you can bring it over to the mood text of your image and you can paste it in here and you can actually put some text in here and press set mood so as you can see we've got two little images and a bit of text in the middle so that is what that does uh, you got your ability to find your own uh, here is just two more like random ones with some text in which are pretty cool um, so that's it for like the images no other tool has that as far as I'm aware like so if you want to find your own if you do find a cool one, let me know. I'm always open, to, like, because you can. There's some really cool stuff in this, actually. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So another thing I did on this page was added a cool spammer. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you enter someone's username and start calling them. Uh, it will literally call them, hang up, call them, hang up, and so on until you press stop calling. So it's a bit of an annoyance if you want to get hold of somebody or they're not replying. Just use this on them. Uh, it's fairly annoying um, if if they're not on do not disturb anyway uh, and that's it really you might have seen that in another tool that's the only sort of thing you might have seen uh, underneath this we've got the avatar cycler also again pretty self explanatory if you open this image folder uh, this is what the tool comes with default I've just filled it with five default images but you want to change these uh, between five different ones for now I just put five for testing um, if you're going to be putting your own images in this you want to label them 1 to 5 like I have and they need to be in PNG format 
in this folder here um, and then obviously you just press start cycle uh, what this does is your images your Skype image cycles between the five images in that folder um, but the thing is at the minute they cycle pretty fast I would show you it in action but I don't have five different images so you wouldn't really see the effect and also it sort of lags my internet I don't have the best internet and it, it needs to obviously upload them uh, but yeah it's pretty cool and it cycles through pretty fast uh, so if you start that you just want to stop it don't leave it on for too long another thing I did was the Skype crasher uh, so basically you enter someone's username in here and it will may or may not crash their Skype uh, it, what it does is it sends them a piece of string uh, and this is basically a combination of some weird characters um, when I was pasting it in the project itself it actually broke my Visual Studio um, so I don't know why this happens I think the computer just don't or cannot process what it is or something like that it's kind of weird um, so the actual code isn't in the tool itself I'm having to download it from a page on the internet and then send the string in that way uh, it's sort of that powerful it crashed my project um, so yeah that's it for the new page kind of everything on here hasn't been seen apart from call spammer as far as I'm aware uh, what else I changed was you can check on the change log I added quite a bit uh, but for the main tool I'll go through the rest quickly I added this little bar here just to change the speed of the mood profile stealer that will stay the same user ideas uh, I added a little search bar down here so what this does we can search for a user really fast now before you'd have to find through and find them yourself now you can just start searching for their name and you'll find them like that so it's much easier better ease of access and I just thought overall it needed a search bar uh, this page stayed the same so we'll just skip that what else changed was you might notice underline mood was here blinking mood is, took its spot and mass message changed a lot so what I did was I added these three things here so you could be typing a message you could type hey and contact so what if you don't know what this is contact will send them their username so it, it makes the message seem a bit more personal uh, and like you've sent it to them what this does it will be like hey contact so if you were to send that to me it would say hey Mr. Merkid so it sounds like you sent it to me although you didn't and same goes for their first name and their last name so first name's a lot more personal and that's that so you could type your message in you can just click these so it's pretty easy to add all these in and then obviously you need to send the message to someone I now enabled you to choose who you want the message to go to so if you've got some offline contacts that you don't want to send them to you can just send it to your online contacts or all, all or offline or busy or away I have I have most of them and this was here from last time remove tag it's also pretty nice to have some people don't like the spam at the bottom but that's just them uh, and I think that is the main things I changed I did fixes and other little things you can go and change uh, read this for yourself for more detail that's it for the tool uh, now for the bot here which I also did quite a bit of changes on so I, what I did was I added a full admin system now uh, so if you own the tool and you have the bot open you get to pick who the premium users are for you or for your bot um, so if I have this open obviously I'm a premium user the admin automatically gets added to this list when it's open uh, so what you can do is you can add users you can do it in command form I added commands for this and a little text box as well um, so you'd add a username you just add them in press add so every user on this list is a premium user for your bot on the right here you've got the premium commands so these are all the commands in the bot uh, help me and bot info are left off because they're just sort of default everyone should be able to see that um, so these commands here you get to pick which ones uh, exclusive for your premium users so if you wanted to resolve to only work for these now you just check the box and now that will work only for them um, so test can now use resolve and people that are not on this list can't pretty much it's straightforward so this goes to all of them uh, if you tick them all then 
no one can use them apart from the people on this list. If you want to remove someone, you can just click them and press, or you can type their name in like that, uh, or you can just click them, press remove. Uh, also, you've got the remove command to do that too. And you can clear the full list, so it clears it all, or you can open it. It's basically used as a notepad to store them in, so when you shut it, it all gets saved, so you, your list won't be lost. Uh, that's it for the bot. It doesn't look like much, but uh, it's quite a bit that I did. So yeah, that's pretty much the update overall. I didn't show everything, but if you want to read this for more in-depth detail, you can. I'll leave the link for this in the description and also the main page where you can buy the tool. Uh, so that's it really. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to open the tool if you already own it. And if you don't, again, uh, it's worth it. There's some things in here now that no other tool has and it's pretty cool, especially in the mood images anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's it really. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.